All right, so a lot of you have wanted like a car or heli type of um, UI type thing, um, which you've seen in a bunch of YouTube videos from a bunch of different YouTubers. So I decided to go ahead and show you how you can install this and how you get this. So when everything's okay, you can see there's no cruise mode. It actually has a cruise control and um, an option for one. It doesn't put a script for this, but it does give you a recommendation of a cruise control script you can use that will hook into this UI. Um, if you're using the realistic vehicle failures, like we went over in the last video, this will actually show as almost broken when your vehicle's been hit a lot or broken when everything's broken. So that is really cool. So if you want to use that along here, it does work pretty well. Um, you can see it gives you your license plate, your oil, uh, fuel, all of that. So it just shows if you're up and then if you're in a plane, you can also have this UI, which is like a race car mode UI where you can see every single part of the car and see what's broken. Um, of course, you can do that if you want or you can disable it. And then for planes, you can see there's actually an altitude, main rotor, tail rotor, engine, pick, roll, etc. So that is pretty cool as well. So in order to download this, all you have to do is download the version you want. The newest is uh, 1.9. So we're just going to download 1.9. You can see it's car HUD 1.9. Just go ahead and open that with your zip file. And you can see there's a car HUD and the car HUD.lula and the resource.lula files in here. You can go ahead and close this out now. So what you need is you need a server already set up. So this is server side, not client side. So go ahead and open up your server data folder, go to the resources, and then all you have to do is drag the car HUD into the resource folder. You can go ahead and close out of that. Go to your server data folder, server.cfg file, edit it with notepad plus plus, add ensure or start depending on yours, and it's just going to be car HUD because that's the name of the folder we just dragged in. Inside your resource car HUD folder, um, there is a actually a uh, thing you can edit. So you can go into the car HUD.lula file and you can see info. So speed, should it be miles per hour or kilometers? I want it to be miles per hour. So I'll go ahead and switch that. Should there be a damage in, uh, system in like involved in this script or do you use your own? If you're using realistic damage, uh, vehicle damage, you can keep this false. Speed indicator, parking indicator, um, all should be on the top. Yes. Should the plate show there? Maybe, maybe not. Should the engine show there? Should the cruise show there? Since I don't have cruise control, I'm going to just go ahead and, and disable that. Should the car have um, RPM status, gears, race mode, any of the race modes? Should you have a seatbelt? Seatbelt key? I'm going to disable. I don't want a seatbelt. Indicators? Should you have an indicator option? I'm going to disable that, but I'm actually going to keep that enabled. Why don't we keep that enabled just so I can show you? And then should you have the HUD for the planes and then you can move the UI here? and change all the keys you want here as well. So that's pretty cool. Then just ignore the code. So you can go ahead and close this once you're done customizing it to your liking and go ahead and start your server and log into your 5M as well. And then you're gonna join whatever server you have installed this on and we're gonna see if it worked by getting into a car and seeing if that UI has popped up on our screen. So I'm gonna go hop in and I'll be right back. Also, I just wanted to mention this does work with 5PD. I have tested it. There is no type of compatibility issues between them. Everything should work perfectly fine, regardless if you're running 5PD or not. Not required to run it, but both should work pretty fine. Also, if you have an issue with the script, you can either ask on the support forum for this script is the best place to ask, or you can ask small questions down in the comments. I do not make the script. I do not uh, own it. I don't do anything with it. I'm just using it. So if you need support, I can answer basic questions like how to drag and drop it into your folder if you don't understand it from the video. But if you actually need for support for it, please go contact the author. It will be much faster and much more of a detailed reply than what I can provide in the comments of a YouTube video. So we're just loading in here and hopefully we load in pretty quickly because I hate just waiting around. Um, there we go. So we're actually loading in now. You can see down on the bottom right, it actually said loaded car HUD. Um, it was very very fast but you can see it actually loaded in so we're going to go ahead and load in here we're just awaiting scripts and here we go we're about to get in here sorry for the delay it's 5m there we go so we are in so let's just get into a uh, car first and i'll show off the hell the helicopters and other stuff so let's just say we get into a typical police car <coughs> um you can see over on the top left or bottom left hand corner i'll make this full screen so it's a little easier for you to see there is now a HUD there that shows your miles per hour, your RPM, your engine lights. If you have turn signals enabled, it also shows those. So if I go ahead and press backspace um, in terms of my uh, Luxart vehicle control, which includes those turn signals, you can see they are on and they're blinking on and off. And over on the left hand side, it also shows that. So realistically, when I'm in game, what I would disable is I disable the turn signals, the RPM, and just leave it at miles per hour engine fuel 
um, and stuff like that. But it's completely up to you what you want to use. But you can see it does appear there and it seems to be working perfectly fine. It has you if you have the gas script, which is FR fuel, it will display the gas line below this um, UI, which is pretty cool. But if you don't, it will actually display the UI only. So you can use this with FR fuel or without FR fuel. Um, all right, so let's go over to the airport here and we'll see if we can get into a helicopter and test a helicopter UI and we'll just make sure everything's working and we'll end the video there. So let's, let's go ahead and get into a police helicopter just so it's more realistic for us being on a 5PD server. And there you can see you have main rotor, tail rotor, engine, and it actually shows you your pitch and roll as well. So if you are wanting to do practice of flying, you can call out to each other what your pitch and roll is of your plane and or helicopter and figure it all out including the engine and the main rotor and tail rotor if you shoot out the back tail rotor it will actually go red on there as well so that is how you set this up hopefully it has helped you a bunch and keep working on your servers and i hope you have success with them in the future so i'll see you in tomorrow's video